What's going on guys? Today we are looking at 88 Cubo. He is the year in review free player. I must admit in terms of the year in review, you're going to do it anyway for the packs, but he looks semi-decent. It's a nice upgrade from his Trailblazer. We got it way, way back when and also a player of the month. He is now a team of the year honorable. Unfortunately, he didn't get the double play star plus. He mainly got the upgrade for his stats. A four star, four star, right wing, left footed, can play striker and cam as well. So variants on that positioning. And he does have the technical play star plus as well as flair, first touch, trickster, and also quick step. Now in terms of chemistry style, we will look People are saying Marksman and Hunter for him. So, Marksman would give you... What would he be? He'd be explosive still? No, he'd be mostly explosive with Marksman. He'd end up with 75 physicality, 97 dribbling, and 89 on the shooting. If you wanted to go all out Hunter with him, you would lose a little bit on that acceleration, as it is, obviously, at nearly the max anyway. So, you'd only get a plus three. You'd end up with the eight on the sprint speed, taking his speed up to 96 and you'd end up with 88 shooting. So there's arguments for and against. The only thing I think with this card personally is going to be the composure at the absolute high end. Everything else you could get on board with. The dribbling's going to be good. He should feel quite quick as well as that technical plus should do him some service. And he's got probably average to higher passing. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable, digital cards for you right now. Right, let's have a look at this technical. Very, very quick down here. I'm not a big fan of technical, as you could imagine, just because... Oh, backer with a great recovery. I thought I had Virgil on strings. But in terms of the technical... I'm more of the kind of rapid slash quick step. It just works better in my eyes. This guy is, I think, using it as well, which is absolutely brilliant. He's going to go for that whipped pass, surely. Or is he going to go backwards? He's got the inside as he tries to go all the way. But you can you can use it as a little quick step to kind of go around. If they go in for that tackle, you can see that it, it, does, it does work very well. But I'm kind of trying to draw people out like this. Go for that Traveller. And it's an absolute banger. It works a good amount of the time. The only thing that I find with it is it is very easy to defend once you know they're doing it. Because you only have so many kind of modes that you could, well, so many sort of directions that you can take it at the full sprint. It's not like it's like uh, kind of a rapid where you can almost not even necessarily turn massively with it. But like, for instance, with Mbappe, you come straight out with it and you can turn and you'll go back into the rapid and you go straight into it like that. Whereas technical, I find sometimes is kind of like the, the B-Tech of it really. But I do think Kubo has a nice card. He's, he's always been, since that kind of summer heat version, he has been somewhat of a little bit of a gem. Everybody kind of likes him in terms of his dribbling. Little step. No, Blanc's gone for it. Little scuffle left foot. Forgot that he had a left foot there. But in terms of Kubo, he kind of has got that ability. Everybody loves him. Once he gets to that high end, uh, we're not really seeing any much crossing. Can we? Is that him over there? I wonder if I can get to him from here. It's Kubo looking for the left foot. Spins it across. Uh, yeah, that's a bit too easy. Oh, good closing down. Kubo takes it away. Got to make sure we get rid of it at that time. Beautiful work. I must admit, when you're looking at your kind of wingers, it's always good to have... Oh, can we go for that? Left foot. Oh, he's gone for the right. That's a stunning ball. We had gone with a marksman as well, if you hadn't already noticed. Not that you would have, because we haven't scored with Kubo yet. But in terms of uh, kind of the marksman, I feel like it makes sense, really. I like that he's obviously got that pace increase on the hunter, but only getting a plus three on the acceleration because it's already 96 I just feel like it's a waste in comparison to what we could get from him. So we have gone with that marksman as well, which as well makes him mostly explosive. I feel like there's not necessarily, well, I suppose there is a difference, but it's not a huge difference between explosive and mostly explosive. Get that. Ooh, Virgil going for the overhead. And again on the run. Can we find him? There it is. Beautiful run. He's dragged everybody out, but Baka is unbelievable. As always, she's a phenomenal left back. He seems to be the one to go up here as well. Modric with some incredible skills. The whipped pass is coming in. Lorente with a beautiful Eto away. Can we keep this away? Lovely stuff from Zidane. All come from Kubo's work there. 
Kubo at the back, Stig, fine. It's not Kubo, it's Son. <laughs> Lovely stuff with the technical. That's what we want to see. And... Ah, oh, loses it. That's what I mean. I'm, I'm not necessarily incredible at the technical. I, like I say, I'm much more preferring of the rapid. It's just, it, it seems better in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people kind of understand that as well. But when you've got it, it would be nice to have the double on him. I feel like because... Kubo doesn't get that many cards. So now we are going to see him with probably a little bit of a drought. That's a great ball through. Oh, how on earth has Courtois bottled that? But we're, now we're seeing the 88. It might be a while until we see like a 90 and 89 at the minimum, which means the double play style plus is going to take its time to, to really show itself here. Little one, two. Eto knowing what he wants to do. Oh, that's a... Uh, no, it's not a good ball. In general, I feel like passive wise is actually well. We have got the upgrade on the marksman as we we kind of said before, but I do feel like his passive definitely screams better than what it's kind of saying on the actual card to start with. Look for the one-two with him this time if we can. There it is. That's the one. Oh, is he onside? Keep it in. There was no way it was offside. No way. Don't show the replay. Oh, he's through in the middle. Through in the middle. Got to get his left foot. It says sweet finesse. Little bit bittersweet, but cute. Oh, okay. Oh, lovely bit. There it is. Ah. Oh, he's led him all the way in. How on earth has he managed to do that? I don't like the celebration, <laughs> but he's managed to get all the way through there. I do not know what this guy was doing. He just let him go through on goal. And again, going to see him running through. We've got multiple options going for the choice of that. Oh, may not have made the right one. Eto, good save from Lloris. Beautiful dribbling from our man Kubo. Much better game to start off with. He's got himself his goal and already some dribbles under his belt. What can we find? We've got Teo Hernandez on absolute strings as he lets in a bit of Eto, who's going to do the defenders, find the near post. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So in terms of Kubo then, what have we actually got to do? So if you go over to Footbin, if you're not on the console, the objective is quite simple. If you go into live, we should have the year in review free. So it is a five match objective that you can do it in. So that is the absolute minimum. If you are doing it on squad battles, two goals or more in five separate matches. That is going to be with the Serie A attackers. Score five goals using English midfielders. Pretty standard. Could do that in one game. Score 10 goals with a minimum of six French players in your team. You could do that in one game. And also assist and score with Liga F players in three separate. So that's going to be your three matches. That one's going to be your five. And in the middle is just a one match if you can get it done in there. You'll end up with the 88 Kubo. I think it is a decent upgrade on top of his normal Trailblazer. That one did have the first touch play style plus And the player of the month didn't have any. So this one... It's definitely a big one for me. I do think it's why I didn't bother with the player of the month because even though Playstyle Plus doesn't necessarily... Say if he had R9 and he didn't have a Playstyle Plus, he would still be very good. But, I, I know, chalk and cheese. But when it comes to Kubo, I knew there'd be a better version. You, you just got to have a better version. There's no way that he stays at 85. And at a minimum, he's going to get an evolution at some point, which I can imagine he already can be. So technically, he could already be a finisher if you did choose him to go through. And he would have the... Oh, he would have the Traveller Plus. That's probably not a bad one either, to be fair to him. But that does require multiple evolutions as well. I do think the Marksman is going to be the better shout. You get a bit more on that finishing, a little bit more on the dribbling, which is always welcomed, and a bit more physicality, which, to be honest, you're not really going to notice massively. There might be different moments where a plus eight could actually make a slight difference, but in terms of the kind of actual physicality of Kubo, he normally doesn't have any, so that is absolutely fine. You could also go with the Hunter. I do think it's still a very viable option. You are going to make him more pay well, yeah, more pacey, and then the same amount of shooting, so it is dependent on what you fancy, but I think in general, a nice free card. He may not be the top of the class in terms of right wing, but he's free, he's 88 rated, he's got a play style plus, and he's got the potential again, if he doesn't get another upgrade for a long time, that Maybe we see this version going into an evolution.
it, it could happen. Like, even, to be honest, even with the 85s, the eight, well, that 85 can go into a finisher. So that is kind of the thing that you're looking at, really. These cards eventually could go into an evolution. And I know you can't really say that for every card. Otherwise, literally everybody would be worth it. But he's free, and all you have to do is an objective. And you get packs back for it. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So let me know down below what you think about him. And make sure you like and subscribe. Faces.